while walking on State Street, you might run into people on bikes, people on scooters, Purdue students walking to classes with their backpacks on. Now you might run into some food delivery robots as well. There are really no limitations. Um, we've seen groceries delivered, we've seen coffee delivered, we've seen uh, burgers delivered, we've seen pizza delivered. Senior Director of Auxiliary Services at Purdue, Rob Weinkoop, says he and other university staff were excited when Starship Technologies approached them, saying they wanted to try their new personal delivery devices on the Purdue campus. We all agreed this would be a great idea to, to test and, and pilot on our campus. Starting September 9th, the robots will deliver food from campus dining services to designated areas on campus. Anyone can download the app and order the food between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. seven days a week. Within 30 minutes, you're guaranteed to get your meal. And from what we've seen um, in talking and working with, with uh, Starship, it, we meet that they meet that very well. Winecoop believes the pilot program at Purdue will be successful because the personal delivery devices were already tested on other college campuses. George Mason University and Northern Arizona University both rolled out in, in January and February of this year. Winecoop says public safety on both of those campuses reported no problems with the technology. Well, the company actually has a kind of a control center where humans can t pay attention and, and watch what's happening with their robots and if it needs like at a very busy intersection to have a human take control to kind of control it across the street, it can certainly do that. The robots will operate on State Street, Northwestern Avenue, and on specific residential streets on campus. The City of West Lafayette approved the personal delivery devices to operate on city sidewalks. Director of Development Eric Carlson says it's safer to have the robots on sidewalks than on bike lanes because the robots move at the same speed as a pedestrian. There is a pilot program. We'll see how it goes. We have the ability to pull the plug at any time. But from what we've seen in other communities, it's something that has been adopted and utilized. The program will start off with 25 to 30 robots, and if all goes well, there could be more rolling on campus. In West Lafayette, Nina Slosberg, Star City News.